Hi, it's Danny here from the Whiteboard Blog, and I'm here with a quick video just to go through some of the features of Microsoft Copilot Pro. Now, they've just released Copilot Pro to um, all users. It's been in preview for a while. Um, I've signed up for the, the Pro version for um, Microsoft Office, so it's £19 a month. I think it's $20 a month um, in the US. What it basically does is it's a version of their AI assistant called Copilot, but it runs inside of Microsoft Office apps. So that's uh, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, Word and so on. So I'll do some videos looking at each of the, the different apps um, at some point. I'm going to start with Microsoft Excel. So when you sign up for Copilot Pro on your Microsoft account, it will give you this Copilot icon in the top right corner over here. Now a couple of things I've found out um, in Excel, specifically in Excel, there's a couple of things you need to do to have that not be greyed out. So when I first started with Excel, that was greyed out and I couldn't work out why. Um, the first thing is that the, the data you are going to be using needs to be formatted as a table. So you need to go over here and format it as a table and choose how you want it to look. The second thing is you need to have saved this file to Microsoft OneDrive. And then the third thing you need to do is turn on Auto Save. With all three of those things, the Copilot icon will be coloured and then you can use it. So I've got a couple of example spreadsheets show some of the things I've, I've found that this will do. If you're an Excel user who uses Excel quite a bit, you're probably going to find that most of these things aren't really going to save you a lot of time. You know how to do these things in one or two clicks um, and it's probably faster just to, to do it the way you normally do. If you're a slightly um, less experienced Excel user, then some of these features are going to help you out because you can tell Excel almost in real language what you want it to do and it'll then do those things for you. So that's quite useful things like filtering and sorting and, and converting columns and stuff like that. So I'll give you some examples of what it does. I'm going to click up here on the Copilot button at the top there. It gives me this tab down the side. So I've got some product data here. I want to explore it and analyze it and so on. So the first thing I might want to do is my unit price column is currently just numbers. I want to convert that into currency. So I'm going to put in here column D to currency UK pounds and it'll think about it for a minute. Like I said, that was quicker to do just by going up to the settings. The other thing I found, I can't get it to do pounds. It only seems to do US dollars for the moment. So to be honest, I would just go, you know, highlight the column and I'd go up here and I'd set it to currency and then I'd change it to be UK pounds and we're done. It's not always as good as actually just doing it yourself. But these things are starting off, it's only about a few weeks, so it's going to get better. So I'm going to get it to do some calculations. So I'm going to tell it in words what I want it to do. Now I know that column D is unit price and column E is units sold. So I want it to work out the total sales for each column. So I can type in here, um, add a formula to column F to calculate total sales from unit price times units sold. So if I hit enter for that, it'll put it here. If I agree with that, that's what I want it to do, so it's telling me what it's going to do. There's the form it's going to put in. I can click on here and I can click on insert column and it'll put total sales in there as a column, which is quite nice. Um, what I can then do is in here, I can say, right, I want it to um, sort by total sales in descending order. And there we go, it's sorted for me. So I want to just see all the gift packs. So I could put in here, I want you to filter filter for product type gift pack, I'm going to hit enter and it'll apply that filter to me, here we go, there's a filter and you should be able to combine some of these as well so I want it to filter for product type single that has sold more than 25 units so let's put in there, I want to see all the things that are selling more than 25 so filter by product type single that have sold more than 25 units, hit send and there we go. So it's applying two filters there. It's all the single products where units sold are greater than 25, and that's those there. So I'm going to switch to um, a different sheet now. I'll try something else. I want it to highlight any value over 21 as yellow. And there we go. It's now showing me any value over a certain number um, in a different color. Uh, I can then ask it to actually again add an extra column for me. So I want to um, calculate the average temperatures. So I'm going to click in here, um, add a column that calculates the average temperatures over the week for each city. There we go. So equal average, it's worked out a formula, it's possibly not the best formula, but it's, it's worked out a formula for me. I'm going to insert the column and there we go, average temperature has been put in there. Um, I could then ask it, I would like you to produce a bar chart that shows average temperatures for each of the cities. There we go, there's my chart, it's created a bar chart for me. If I like that, it's given me some data here. The chart shows Athens is the highest temperature and so on. If I like that chart, I can click add to new sheet 
a little put that chart in there for me. Let's do some other things. I'm going to ask it to show the top three cities by average temperature. So let's put in there top three cities by average temperature. It'll apply a filter there and actually it's produced a table for me, a chart, so I can put that as an extra sheet if I want to, and that'll go like that. And again, I've got a sheet there with the extra data in. And then one last thing then, I'm gonna ask it to sort by average temperature. Okay, so sort of, I didn't tell it to send it was sending, so it's done it in ascending order, so we're starting here and we're going up. Okay, so I'll do one more thing. I've got a table here of results. I've been doing an investigation with a group and I've got all their information like height and sex and reach age and so on and I want to filter and sort this to get some information out so I could do things like um, let's sort by height in ascending order so let's try that first let's sort by height in ascending there we go height in ascending order I'm going to filter for brown hair there we go so I've now got brown hair like that okay I'm going to ask it to analyze data so how how many males are there and it should tell me there we go, so it's telling me there's 128 male. I could add that as a data chart if I wanted to. I'm not going to, I don't really need that, that's fine. I could ask it to do some graphs for me, so I'm going to produce a scatter graph of height against reach. Let's hit enter and see whether it can do that for me. There we go. I can add that to my sheet like that. There's my scatter graph, I can put that wherever I want it to be. And maybe I could try something else. There's a lot of data here, I want to make it a pie chart, so I'm going to click in here. And I'm going to ask it for produce a pie chart of eye colour. Now it won't do that straight away, but it will give me the data here which I can then use. I'm going to add that to a new sheet. So with that sheet created, I can go into here, I can highlight that, I can go into insert and pie chart, and I can produce a pie chart of that data if I want to, like so. As I said, there's lots of things that Copilot can do. I'm probably missing a huge number of things that it's doing I'll have some more time to play and come back with some more things I find out that it will do like I said if you're an expert user in Excel most of that was probably embarrassingly painful we could have done that with several clicks it would be much faster if you're inexperienced with Excel then having that there is helpful it will help you to produce formally maybe you don't quite know exactly how to make a formula to the thing you want it to do you can explain to it in in real language what you want it to do it'll create the formula for you and you can insert that into your sheet some of the features like multiple filtering and so on it is easy to just do by clicking on the filters and so on so that's copilot pro in excel i'll come back and do some more videos looking at powerpoint and word uh, and OneNote and see what they can do and i'll share those on this channel as well cheers goodbye